Nearby, a council of male elders observed her until one of them decides he has had enough. He approaches her from behind, and she is startled to feel this menacing hold on her long, silken hair. He grabs her by the neck, squeezing harder and harder until he stops the dance. Her laughter is silenced, and in the silencing of woman's laughter, shame is introduced into the human psyche. Next to the smoldering fire pit, a snake appears. The man cuts it in two with his spear. Bismillah, Bismillah. It was then that man spoke, silencing the voice with his words. And with his words, he cast this spell over all of humankind. We will begin with shame, the man declared with his words. The advent of shame allows for all manner of abuse toward women. It is a necessary starting point for us to take control over you. From here forth, you will honor the mind and not the dance. You will obey the father and dishonor the mother. If you rise up in protest, you will be knocked down. If you show anger, you will be convinced that you are hysterical. You will hear only the words, and you will no longer hear the voice. You will live in a state of confusion and not knowing. You will lose the medicine woman and honor the hospital and medical system. Your knowing will be disturbed by thoughts, and you will be unsure about what you think and feel. You will be unsure where to go or how to be. Your own mother will dishonor herself. Your voice will be silenced. You will doubt your own knowing and therefore be forced to rely on others. You will ask their advice, but they too will be confused and deluded, and this will further feed your confusion. You will go to sleep in a forgetting. You will be unable to achieve clarity. You will live the illusion of disempowerment. You will vaguely remember your own remembering, but this will be scrambled and you will suffer your own longing to remember something that you know was once there, but you cannot reclaim. This will create a kind of madness in you of interminable longing. Your heart will feel broken and no longer function to allow you access to your own wisdom. In the beginning of all creation was not the word. In the beginning was the voice, and the voice was the voice of the goddess. I invoke the name of the goddess in the language of my ancestors. The goddess before she was silent, before she was disappeared. I call on the goddess of my ancestors that she may know, I have not forgotten. Bismillah.